So I've had quite a busy week of chores and just running around and doing things. So I figured that I would show you what a typical week looks like with my RV chores. What I do daily, weekly, even just every once in a while, just so you can really get a grasp on everything that has to be done when you live in an RV. So that being said, let's get right into it. Emptying my tanks is one of my most done chores. I think I do it about every three days, but I'll just pull that little latch open to let all of my water run out into the sewer. I have a gray tank and a black tank. My gray tank definitely gets a full a lot faster, but then um, once it's empty, I'll just run the tube along to get all of the excess water into the sewer hose. And that's me emptying my tanks. Every time I empty my black tank, I have to drop one of these in. These are porta packs. They're basically tank deodorizers and they really help uh, break down everything that goes into my black tank, um, like paper and waste and everything, as well as help keep the smell from getting too bad, um, considering that everything is stored right underneath me. It's one of the glamorous things about living in an RV. I just put one of these packets in the toilet and then also before I use the toilet for the first time after I've emptied it, I make sure I put in like a couple gallons of water, at least two. Um, my parents I think said to do five, but I will literally take like a gallon jug that I have and pour it down the toilet with one of these packs so that basically my solid waste doesn't sit at the bottom of the tank and create what they call the poo pyramid. I'm not making that shit up, okay? <laughs> Pun intended. I am not making that up. There is something called a poo pyramid and if you don't have enough liquid in your tank when you go number two, your shit will basically pile up. <laughs> These are things you do not have to worry about when you live in a house, but when you live in an RV, it is essential to have enough water in your tank and put one of these in. They make orange ones and they have all different colors. I have these blue ones. Um, I've used the orange ones in the past. Basically just something to help that the smell and so that the waste breaks down. Of course laundry is a chore that everyone has to do, but when you live in an RV it's a little bit different because most people don't have in-unit laundry in their RV. Some people do, but for us, we have to go to the laundry room, which isn't really that big of a deal. It's kind of like when I was in college, I still had to go to the laundry room, so it's basically the same thing. It's the same thing when you're at a campground. You have to bring your laundry out of your RV to the laundry room and do it there. Some campgrounds make you pay for doing your laundry, other ones don't, so it really just depends, but it's the same process. It's just like an extra step of bringing it outside and doing it there. So the next chore that I always do is dishes. Of course, I feel like everybody in the world does dishes. You have to. But my sink is so small and I also have to worry about how much water I use when I do it. So I'd say I probably do the dishes at least once a week. I try to do them every night, especially nights that I cook. It gets so crowded here and so I pretty much do the dishes right after I eat, which is really good for me because when I was in college, I'm not gonna lie, I would probably wait a month before I did my dishes. I know it's horrible and it's bad, uh, but I'm getting a lot better at it now and I pretty much do it at least once a week. I also try to vacuum at least once a week as well because my carpet does get really dirty, especially around the entryway here. So I keep my vacuum, it comes apart, but I keep it in this little coat closet type thing. And I just pull it together and I do a quick little vacuum. And by quick, I literally mean like it's maybe five minutes. Like it's so quick to vacuum this entire place. So I got this vacuum on Amazon. I think it was on sale because I got it on Amazon Prime Day but it is a cordless vacuum, which I highly recommend uh, whether you live in a small space or a big house because you don't have to worry about plugins. And for me living in the RV, plugins are sparse to say the least. It's really easy, I just recharge it when I need it. Uh, and it has been working really well so far. It picks up all the 
dirt and dust um, from both my carpet and my tile floors, so I really enjoyed it. Also, this tip is for anybody who has cats. You don't have to live in an RV. If you have a cat, listen up. You need one of these, okay? I don't know where my mom got them. I'll ask her and I'll put it on the screen, but it is a cat hair collector essentially, and you can just rub it on anything. I'm gonna do it because I get a lot of cat hair on my dinette benches. So you literally just gently pull it across here where there's where you get a lot of cat hair and it picks up all the cat hair. I live by this thing. I will do this on my carpets as well. And it is insane the amount of cat hair that just sits on my carpets. Let me show you. I'll just do a little spot for an example. I'll just do up here maybe. I don't know how much I'm gonna get because I kind of just did this recently. So I just did this little spot here under my desk. Look at all this hair. Look at it. That is gross. You don't even see it there because it just kind of blends in. But if you actually get down and like clean these carpets, um, it's actually really gross. The first time I did it, I was amazed <laughs> at how much cat hair I got up with this thing. So go get yourself one of these if you have a cat. That's just my side note. That's how I keep my carpets clean because these carpets are really old and to be honest, gross looking. They do their job and they keep their purpose, but I like to keep them looking at least semi-decent for being so old. So I vacuum them and then I use this. Buying groceries is another chore that literally everybody does, but we have to go quite often. We go once a week because we can't stock up. This is probably what you're seeing right now, the biggest grocery haul I did, and it was right when I moved into the RV, so I had basically nothing. But I spend so little on groceries every week because, well, A, my parents help make meals, but also I go every week and we can't buy that much because there's such limited space. So we're at the garbage place right now. This is where we have to bring our garbage. Um, whenever it's full, we have to dump it um, at this garbage center. I think everybody in the area has to do this if you don't have like an actual dumpster because the garbage trucks don't come down the road that we live on. But we are dumping out our trash now and it just goes into, they have like a big um, bin here for garbage and then they have a recycling one behind me as well. This big blue one is for recycling. My parents are doing it right now because they have a bunch of garbage and I didn't have as much so I'm just sitting in the car. But this is where we have to bring our garbage to dump it um, whenever we have just full trash bags. We just put them outside and then we come, I think like about once a week, dad will usually bring the bike down here. So that is what we have to do with our trash. And then the final chore that I have is to fill my propane. I take it to the hardware store that's in town and they just fill it up for me right at their tank and I'll just bring one when it's empty when I'm using the other one and kind of switch them off and that's all I do. I hope you found this video informative and you learned a little bit more about what it's like to live in an RV full time. If you did like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below because if you enjoyed this video, I definitely have other ones that you're going to like as well. So make sure you stick around. But that being said, I will see you in my next one. Bye.